So hello, I'm uh, Professor Helen Cohen, and I am at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. The SELECT trial was a large international study um, which investigated once weekly semaglutide 2.4 milligrams versus placebo in people with pre-existing cardiovascular disease and about BMI of at least 27, uh, but without diabetes at randomization. Um, patients were randomized to receive either semaglutide or placebo uh, and were followed up um, uh, through the trial over a median of 3.5 years. The primary um, outcome of the trial was major adverse cardiovascular events, uh, which comprised death from cardiovascular causes or non-fatal MRI or non-fatal stroke. Uh, so that was the basic design of the trial. Uh, and overall in the trial, the tide was associated with a 20% reduction in the major adverse cardiovascular event outcome. We know that uh, both in people with and without diabetes, that uh, EGFR, uh, having a lower EGFR or albuminuria, in other words, impaired kidney function, is associated with a much higher rate of cardiovascular disease. Uh, so the purpose of the analysis here was to examine whether or not the benefits of semaglutide on MACE were still preserved and observed in people with reduced kidney function at baseline because this is a particularly high-risk group and it is very important to be able to demonstrate that they have at least the same level of benefit uh, as in people with preserved kidney function. So the main findings were, um, well, first of all, uh, as we expected, people who did have a reduced EGFR, in this case, an, an EGFR below 60, uh, their actual event rate in the placebo arm um, was um, almost double people who had uh, an EGFR of greater than 60. So in other words, we confirmed that EGFR is a very strong risk factor for MACE in this uh, population. Um, but what we saw was that whilst semaglutide was associated with a hazard ratio of 0.82 or 18% reduction in MACE in people with an EGFR of more than 60, it was actually associated with a hazard ratio of 0.69 or in other words, a 31% uh, reduction in MACE in people with EGFR below 60 at baseline. Um, and the p-value for the interaction effect was null significant. So that uh, means that we can say with confidence that in people with reduced EGFR at baseline, that the effect of stomatotide on MACE was at least as good as it was in people with preserved kidney function. Basically, very often, um, uh, I should also add that the other important finding was that there was no uh, difference in the adverse effect profile um, between those with and without an EGFR below 60. So the clinical implications here are that magtide uh, is now an important part of the um, means by which we can uh, reduce cardiovascular disease risk in this particularly high risk group of people who have reduced uh, kidney function and that it is safe. Uh, so that's very important because there can sometimes be a reluctance to uh, intervene um, assertively in people with reduced kidney function. So it was very important to demonstrate both the efficacy and the safety here. Well, I think um, the well, one thing that I think is important is that in this in this population of select, people already had cardiovascular disease uh, at the baseline. Um, so this was a secondary prevention trial, if you will. Uh, and I think it's important that we in future establish the effect uh, of uh, uh, semaglutide on uh, maize outcomes. Uh, in a purely primary population that haven't had CBD already and demonstrate the benefits there uh, with and without um, established kidney disease. Um, I think the other you know, important issue really as well is that um, uh, 
for many patients who are nearing to kidney failure, um, it is important um, before and maybe warranting a transplantation uh, that uh, very often an important part uh, of the preparation for transplantation is a consideration of whether or not there needs to be weight loss. And I think having more data um, on people at the extreme lower end of EGFR um, with respect to uh, the effectiveness might result to be helpful. 